All right, sorry, that last one. Maybe I cut it off. Hopefully I'll catch it and cut it off. I forgot to hit stop recording. First, let's look at Margrave. Oh, wait, she lived in trees? Learned a garden where I shared the book. Kleptomania kind of sucks. Loves to explore, which is interesting. But I don't know what it leads to, and then led a quiet life. So, okay, let's, let's go level her up some just to see what she's about. And then that should give us enough time. We'll drive. Or should we drive? How far out is it? We should drive. We should drive. She'll probably die. She's not... This might be too much to carry. She's not Dr. Alexander. Oh, we already had car stuff. Well, take two car stuffs. Maybe we already have bloater gas bombs. No, we don't. Got fuel bombs and molotovs, though. What was the goal? Oh, they're shooting us. That glorious glitch. Operation Dr. Alexander, though, major success. We got a traitor in our group. We got all our cars back. We've got her leveling up. That blue bug is annoying. I want to go get this mission and... Oh, we need gas. And then I want to start cleaning up infestations the very least we're getting this freaking trader done today I hope she's got to survive it of course but um we're actually now gonna hang out for this so that we get all that juicy standing the only thing I really wish we had right now is a cook, but even more so is I wish we had the bio bomb center. We may be outnumbered, but we're a lot smarter than they are. Cause it's it's probably going to be helpful to go in with some bloater gas bombs. So I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to switch to Fernando because I think he's got it. Throw it into the, uh, the building real quick. No, uh, just so you know what I should do, I should. Get a girl's room that makes millions of dollars more than me and give her 6000 so that way she can see my proposal to ask her out. That's a good life decision, Raphael. It's working out for a lot of people right now. One thing we have learned is they are super loyal to you. You try to talk shit about their fan base, they're fucking on you, man. They'll get your sponsorships pulled and everything. So at least you'll have a loyal fan. It just comes at a huge cost. This stuff is heavy. We are in the middle of a horde, right? Yeah. I wish we could take these guys out with us. So we're going to want to take the 50 cal for the final mission because we will have a juggernaut we got to fight against. Then we need to immediately switch. It's like no zombies this time around. Then we need to immediately switch over to the pyro launcher and explosives to deal with a human threat that gets completely out of control. We should also pack med kits. Yeah. That headshot's brutal though, man. Like that's how I've lost everybody is the headshot. It's been a long time since I saw this. Oh, that's a bell club. I think this thing used to be broke and it would like never break. What a better idea though is giving <laughs> to get his only fans. Yes, it's where I show you my hemorrhoids earned after five years of streaming on TTV. And my fucking cross eyes because I mounted this monitor in the weirdest position ever. It's gonna get I'm gonna get a cock eye. Instantly a citizen. Three plus morale because she gives people space. And eh, it's nothing. She's not gonna be one of the people who makes it. Are you rested up yet, Dr. Alexander? Oh god, no, she's hurting bad. She's so close. It's gonna probably take a day. I honestly probably should have switched to her because that would I we would have been better off gaining the influence on Alexander. She's close to being our hero. Give her a day to rest, and we'll take her back out and finish this fight, Master Chief. Oh, there's a traitor out there. Oh, we gotta be quick. How much influence we got? Oh, a decent amount. Oh, 
lot of zombies in there. Bombs on zombies, dude. Like you're trying to just fire armored zombies with vehicle. We've almost got all the anniversary stuff done. Hopefully they re-release the World War II weapons. I missed out on that one. Hopefully soon. I could use six extra stacks of what, Dan? Subs get Snapchat. They get great will, so Snapchat, though. Not sure I was subbed and my snaps are empty. OnlyFans or 100 UK, 100 U, 100K U in credit for his OnlyFans. I think Wilso actually has that. We need to determine like a really big point thing, and it'll turn it into an, I think an instant 18 hour stream is what we should do. But if some of you guys are sitting on 100K, then it needs to be like 250. Won't work. How many points do you have, Wilso? Hey and make sure you're sending the fans your snap. I've got stuff you'll like. What do you got, fella? Oh. I'll take this off your hands. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fucking A right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We look good. We look good. Here, I'll show my teeth. I'm not tax season. I'll fucking show my teeth. Ah, I'll show my teeth. I brush and I floss. So I sure as fuck can't afford a dental bill. Okay, this stuff is heavy. That's worth. These guys are pretty, pretty rare. Fucking right, you do. Oh yeah. Hey, in Canada's in Canada land, does socialized medicine also mean free dental care? Well, you know, free-ish taxes. Fucking taxes. One hundred forty-two thousand. Thug life. Damn. You have a ton. We need to make it really expensive then. They get your phone number and one day. They get your phone number and one call a day for five minutes. That's one of the things that the, the girls are giving out now. Holy shit, I need to jump in on this. That's service. Oh, you gotta pay? Okay. To be fair, dental bills are not all that bad here, especially with insurance. Dental's really not bad. You know, like 50 bucks for a checkup. It's worth it. It's the doctor bills you'll get fucked on. For full service with insurance. And your wife's about to know how to clean teeth. You're going to be set on the dental work. Make that 1 million channel points. What, 18 hour stream? Okay. I'll probably run with that, Raphael. That sounds good. Speaking of that, do you have a Snapchat, Raphael? Have you, I mean, uh, well, yeah, sure, Raphael. Have either of you guys invested in maybe adding a little bit of that scandalous after dark content? Keep off roading with this Vandito. This thing is shit on gas. Oh, yeah. Nice. Do you go with the dick pic or no? I gotta see the dentist myself soon. Why are you crying? That shouldn't be no big deal. Do you not like the dentist? I guess some people have had terribly negative ex experiences with the dentist. No more fun. Time to get working. Like uh, Miss Parker apparently had like a bunch of teeth like accidentally pulled or something when she was at the dentist. Sounds terrible. I need a break. It is legal for a hygienist here to clean the teeth of, uh, and I quote, people who you've had sex with. Dennis can do it, but hygienist can't. That is the strangest law ever, and I would love to hear the story as to why that became a law. What the hell went down that that needed to be made a law? Gots to pay. Uh, I don't use it because I don't have a social life. It's only been sent nudes once, and it was by a lesbian chick who looks like a dude, and it was from out of nowhere. They sent you nudes? That's so bizarre. 
I don't do it, though. I was just being facetious. You legit are getting dudes out here on the snap. I'll be real with you. It's just not how I roll. I, uh... If you're sending nudes out... I don't think we can play ball. I don't mean you're a dude. I mean, like, if... if boyfriend, girlfriend, like, you're gonna be my girlfriend, you're sending nudes out. We can't play ball. It just ain't gonna work. People are fucking horny. Maybe I'm just not horny enough or something. Too fucking busy. Okay, this stuff is heavy. Hey, I've arrived. Time to work. Like a girlfriend? Yeah, that shit would be nice to have again. 100% it'd be nice to have again. It's work, but it'd be nice to have again. For, you know, that and other reasons. But the every day, all day is about like, how the fuck porn stars live where they just like fuck for 50 minutes every single day? Dude, that's a lot of work. I don't know how they do it. Uh, if I stop going to the dentist, they find out who she is. She loses her license and get a sex offender record. Wow, it's like intense too. It's this is not a petty crime. Wow. I was confused. She had a girlfriend too. That's really strange. Unless it's college. Yeah, unless it's college. Like yeah, a few years ago and. My ex now, so it's awkward. I know I don't kiss and tell, but yeah, I mean, of course, the fucking drive. You're 18, 19 years old. All you do is fuck. But now it's like. I just see a lot of people my age, and I, I still see that the day is pretty much dominated by. Can I somehow find intercourse? You know, it might be your preferred partner. It might not be. It might be a bag of flour. It might be a fucking donkey. But can I find sexual intercourse today? That is, that is the day's goal. And can it be in the wheelhouse of whatever your kink is? That's why I mentioned in my, uh, it's strange to bring into the conversation, but I will. My grandma, I'm like, it's the Puritan ancestors. It's 100% gotta be the Puritan ancestors. Everything is filled with ambivalent guilt. Everything. So I guess that's what makes us vanilla. As in, myself, as in, I assume most of, I don't know. This is more Twitter stuff, by the way. This is more woke up, and this is what I read today. Well, I like the finger in my ass, Bill, but... Once you get to french fries in the pee hole, then you've gone a little too far. I'm like, fuck, I thought the first thing you said was pretty far. People know about things, and... Legit do it every day that I thought were fucking, you know, really potential health hazards. I'm guessing she was horny because that wasn't her first or last move on me. This was high school. Raphael, you lived a hell of a life in high school. Were you one of Riker's lady boys? The only thing that's going through my head is how do I not screw over my life by getting thousands of dollars in debt and how can I improve my life? Um, don't go to college, go to a trade school unless you really know what you want to get a degree in and know that you're going to. You can stick with academia. How's it going? Don't go to prison. Now. You're young. Start just start working and make money and save it. Put it in an IRA and maybe find a trade that you love and build a business around it. Bye now. You're fucking young and you're smart, Raphael. Just you're gonna make mistakes. There's no getting around making errors, I should say, errors. But now's the best time to just start. Don't get into drugs and alcohol. I mean, if you're gonna drink, drink. If you're gonna smoke some weed, smoke some weed. But don't let it control you, and don't get into hard drugs. So long as you pretty much avoid that shit, uh, yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, and don't take out a loan unless you know you can pay it out. Pay it back and uh, don't don't take stupid credit. I definitely did that. I'm still paying on PayPal debt because I 
right now it's probably going to lead to a debt crisis at some point i'll bet because there's a lot of like really easy credit you can get kind of like the 90s all over again and 80s where is this person and it has a super high interest rate if you don't pay it back hey what's up and I, sure I totally did that to myself. Now, it's not like tax season level, but it's pretty fucking, you know, it's ballooned. I, I just am able to control it. You were probably smart to not go to immediately to college, honestly, Rikers. I saw a ton of people when I graduated high school go straight into college. Fucking hate it, drop right out, but still have $5,000 of debt. It's one of the worst things I see happen to people out of high school. Okay, Waffly! Waffly's one of the best Aussies. She's amazing. We love her. She's a truly talented person. She'll put a huge smile on your face. She loves her community. And it's genuine. And it's earnest. She does really, truly care about her people and her community. And she's a real leader. She's a real leader in her gut and her stomach. And she's a mom. What's not to love? She keeps rising onward and upward. And she deserves every moment of it. Okay. Ouchie. Best gameplay ever. Yo. Hey. Uh, watch out. Here we go. My aunt the prepper. Kate. Waffly! Thank you very much for being here, Kate Waffly. The best Aussie. The best motherfucking Aussie. Great to see. Also extremely, extremely generous. This... This woman here, this woman is gifted like 50 freaking subs in this stream. I have no idea how to make up for it. Except to say thank you and really truly be grateful. The generosity has been beyond expectations and all. Yes. Above and beyond. Above and beyond. Panda all my Omega is trying to catch me. Panda Omega. Oof. Uh, I'm guessing she was a honey for slot. Uh, too late on the drugs. I mean, if you're gonna do the drugs, do the drugs. Just don't get hooked on the drugs. I shouldn't have taken that red pill. Computer science, great degree. Kitties, kitties and minis are all I care about. The rest is just noise. My Dennis, let's look this up. Jerry the dentist. Hold on. I'll pull this up for the stream. Just We're doing the whole YouTube thing. Let me get this episode in and then we'll switch over. Alright, don't try to skip this road. We've done it like a thousand times. We don't want to do that. Gifted subs. Yeah, Waffly said. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Well, it's shit getting this thing stuck over and over and over again. Again, trying to go off course on this very same road. We've done this like 50 times. Dances away. Too late on the drug. Shouldn't have taken that red pill. My dentist. We'll watch that in a minute. Uh, catch you. K Waffly. Charmander. I choose you, K Waffly. Dance intensifies, dances away. No, I want to be free! Rikers, I've done this since I moved out. Excel sheet with bills versus income, save a percent, and boom. Yeah, man, having a budget really makes a huge difference. It's like the whole thing with written goals and goals that are just in your mind. It's amazing what can happen when you just consistently, consistently, consistently work at something. Teleports behind you, nothing personal, kid. Throws Master Ball. That can't catch K Waffly. That can't catch the best Ozzy. You know what happens when you throw a Pokeball at K Waffly? It catches you. Okay, back on the road again after a brief hiatus there into nothingness. Crying intensifies. Wow, these guys really don't want to be hit by a van down by the river. And five out of 20. Suppose I better just accept it. Dances in the Pokeball. See, you, 
You might have caught her, but she's still free in her mind. Hey, Panda. Want to see what I did? Well, hell yeah. What'd you do, K Waffly? What'd you do? Drinking can be much worse than some hard drugs, in my opinion. I 100% mostly agree. It depends on what hard drugs you mean. Like, I definitely feel like drinking is a lot worse than pot. There's no doubt about that. But that's not a hard drug, so according to the DEA, that is a Schedule 1 deadly drug. I made D's. Oh, those are amazing. Those are amazing. You did a great job. You made those yourself, Waffly? You make all your emotes, right? Oh, you did a great job. Those look really good. All right, you have a lot of emotes now, too. Fucking K Waffly emote hype is real. I should probably pay mild attention to what the fuck is occurring currently. Because it ain't looking good. Oh, except for that fire. Fire, 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 fire! I need a supernatural heat wave straight out of hell. This is great. I'm totally keeping it. Okay, this stuff is heavy. Uh, weed is harmless, french fries is deadlier. I mean, you're still inhaling burnt plant matter into your lungs. It's not quite harmless. Like, I'm all for legalized weed in most capacities anyway. Especially medical weed, but I've fucking seen some people with weed fucking their life up. That might be an unpopular opinion at this point, but... I knew people- oh shit, she died? What? There was a mission here. Oh no, no, no. They've turned. When I worked at Pizza Trademark, there was this kid who had anxiety attacks. And he was straight up, come on, he was fucking addicted. There's no doubt about it. He was like 19 years old. He had one fucking brain cell left. He smoked weed from the moment he woke up, and he couldn't go without it. And if he went without it, he immediately fucking freaked the fuck out. And he couldn't. He couldn't hold a conversation. It was sad. It was sad. He'd always tell me it's not the weed. It's not an it's not a weed. It's an herb. And that it's not addicting, it's habit forming. Those people give you that same line of bullshit where it's like it's actually good for you. No the fuck it's not. That's like people who tell you that uh cane sugar's good for you. Well it's natural. It's still fucking sugar. It's still not an essential nutrient. You're still gonna store it as fat. Your body still can't use it as energy. Oh shit, okay, Waffly. Oh damn, Waffly, you still at it? Waffly, go in absolute beast mode. Like, I feel ya, I do. My girl was like that, Noodle Man. Your girl's like what, the zombie mode? Straight up turning into a zombie? Chat is lit tonight. Chat is fucking lit tonight. Yo, okay, Waffly, you've continued. Well, no, it's not K. K's continued to gift. K okay, Waffly. Kayla, I'm grateful. Seriously. It's extremely generous of you. Thank you. You're way too kind. You are a fucking level 50 boss achieved. Raphael, about to give you some love, man. Kayla has achieved level 50 fucking boss. Journal entry. Uh, yo. Oh my god, free Raphael, you've continued to fight. You have continued to fight the war, and you have continued to fight the resistance, and you have become... Stage 7, more human than a human. Raphael, stage 7, more human than a human. Thank you. I am grateful. Welcome back, Raphael and Kay Waffley again. Kayla, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Thank you. Super, super nice of you. Demigods. Uh, the Mano Ghoul. Mango Ghoul. The Mango Ghoul. Anyone know if this guy caught Ligma? Ligma. Huh, okay. That's cheating. Wait a second. Yay, freedom. Yay, freedom. Bane gun, you tried weed once, now I'm gay. No, like, I'm not against weed, okay? I'm totally up for it, especially medical 
marijuana and recreational, but there's got to be some moderation in this, like, it's not addicting, it's just habit forming. No, people can get fucking hooked. With enough time. I'm not saying it's like crack and you're done. Not at all. But people will still, it's still a drug and people still abuse the shit out of it. In some situations. Now, is the overall effect of that abuse much less than alcohol? I would say definitely. Alcohol, fucking people beat their wives and drive drunk and... You can still drive on weed, but the... Alcohol causes 100% a lot more chaos, there's no doubt. But yeah, I've just seen it. I've seen it in my own life, people get... Not made me against it. I, my experience with weed was positive. Very positive. Fucking watch Pink Floyd concerts with my buddy. He'd eat Swiss rolls, we'd play Borderlands all night, I was in college. i fucking get my homework done, get my reading done, sit there and just think all night. It was fun. Had good experiences on weed, but I kind of vini vidi vicis. I came, I saw, I conquered, I had my experiences with it. Nothing to see. Time to skedaddle. But I, I saw some people where that shit... And I saw people that were like... I had a friend. He was kind of crazy. He was a schizophrenic, honestly. He's really actually done good in his life. He takes his meds. I think it must be very, very mild, I think. Very mild. If that's a thing with schizophrenia, but it must be, because he takes meds and he's like, perfect. But he'd smoke weed, and he would fucking go crazy. He'd go crazy. And it was uncomfortable. We'd play like Madden, but it was like, he'd be like, ha 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 So, thinking maybe people who have schizophrenia probably maybe shouldn't smoke it. Waffly, thank you again! Look at this shit. But if she's there, and the car's there, and I feed her into the car, and the car starts, does that mean that technically, technically, I am gasoline? These are the things, these are the things that keep me up at night. They keep me up at night. I better have gotten your name right. You better tell me right now. Kayla, right? I've been working hard to remember your name. You don't want me to call you by your name. Just tell me to. I just try to do it as a... As a token of respect. My name is Steve. Okay. <laughs> My name is Steve. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. It's in the quotes. 315 Waffly. Don't eat my candy. It's not your candy. You are the candy. We just like crack and you're totally done. Um, f you're free. You're tangled by the constraints of my life. No, I'm in your tummy prison. Your soul isn't. What the fuck are you two talking about? Whatever it is, please continue. It's perfect. Anyone know if this guy caught the ligma? It's always weird when someone comes into your chat and talks about you like you're not there. Like, hey, aren't we all in cahoots against this guy? And doesn't he have the fucking ligma? What is the ligma? Can't sleep, it's not Zed's outside, it's the fear that someone from the lab is following me. By now they must have gone. By now they must know I'm gone and what I took. Hopefully I can find any ally out of here. That's Dan trying to escape the chat after I started giving my... ...and lingering opinion on marijuanas. While Dan takes another hit and says... Those weren't my experiences. Hey, are you all rested up now? Close. I want to rest her all the way up. Are we about to have a raid? No. Uh, you know, I say that, but at the same time, I'd really like to get going. Not from the stream, but as in on this mission. So, yeah. She rested pretty good. She'll be fine. Judy? Judy with the Red Talon Workshop and the Cleo Core. She, oh, man. Well, this is what we decided, though. That's fine, because it's going to be Judy, Fernando, and... Yeah, it's going to... It's fine, because it's going to be Judy, Fernando, and Alexander. Dr. Alexander. So what's on Ingrid? Oh, yeah, we got all kinds of shit on Ingrid. I should just keep Ingrid in the group. 
A weight set that I haven't seen in a long time. Food dehydrator that I haven't seen in a long ass time. Cleo rifle on her. Two of these Cleo tumblers. The thing is, we still won't see her, She's because she's got to circle back around. I just got to make sure I don't kill her off the group. What does Fernando have on him? I think Fernando's got, like, satellite arrays and stuff. We only really need one of these. I just kept a bunch of them in case people needed them. Watchtower is good. We got the workshop, so we really got the two most important things. Yes, Banda, my name is Kayla. Good, I'm glad I remembered. What up, Matt? Welcome back. Smoked a lot of pot with Matt, played Minecraft, super positive experiences. Like I said, I'm I'm pro recre uh you know recreational marijuana. Tax the shit out of it. People are gonna smoke it anyway. Make it legal, tax the shit out of it. There, done. But I also don't buy into the line like people would tell me it's it's fucking as healthy as eating bananas and rice every day and exercising. Not only that, it enhances your creativity. The people that talk to me like Weed is like a steroid for health, or dude, they're you're you're not kidding anybody. That ain't true. <laughs> Mine is Lars, Lars Forty and Smitsburg. Who the hell is that? Lars, Lars Smitty and Fitzberg. Oh, you know what? I don't want to kill Grace either. Grace lasted a long time. If I can save all these people, I will. That's where I'm at with this. I just want to make sure that the most important stuff is coming along. There's the Red Talon Workshop, the very rare Persian meal, which they unfortunately nerfed. The very rare Cleo, but useless core. Yet another- I don't need fucking four of these, come on. If someone needs one, we're gonna find more during the network days. We'll, we'll do more during the Day 99 run. Well, right now I'm working on stuff. You said you guys were gonna slow down the mission pace. We've been doing missions for you guys constantly. We don't need this many fucking signal boosters. What was that? Heavy vehicle upgrade kit's fine. I'm gonna take one fishing textbook. I think that's worth it. We got the slow cooker. Where's the bio station? 99 circuitry's fine. Anything red talent, of course, has to go. Compost bin. Really should have two of those. Kill them all. Panda, I came okay, with well, Dan, Sul isn't. Yeah, that conversation, but... But it was beautiful at the same time. I think she keeps shooting herself. Heavy duty ammo press. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's shooting herself. Watch her fucking die. And us lose Alexander. What are they doing? Honest to God, what are those idiots doing? But thank God it wasn't her. All right, we just got to get her to here. I think we can wrap this up. Of course, she has to survive, but survive. They like the can. It makes them happy. It's interesting. Okay. We'll just do uh, advice. She rested for quite a little while there. Need a pep talk here. Can you help? One foot in front of the other. You got this. Where's this mission at that they're getting pissed about? I'll be there in a flash. Have to hurry up and get over there. I feel better already. I'd rather take something more fuel efficient though. Do we need anything in particular? No, we're pretty freaking stocked. Oh, we need a shotgun too. These guys are probably gonna give up on us, but so we can keep working on that bounty. It's probably that new girl. We made the mistake of keeping her with the pyro launcher in her hands. What happened to our shotgun shells? Because if anybody had them, it was this girl, and they're still not here. All right, got to make kiddo breakfast. Gonna go into lurky mode. Have a great lurk. Have a great lurk, Kayla. Waffly, yo, Waffly, you have a good day, a great day, a wonderful day, a fantastic day, a fabulous day, a superior day. There they are. 
a wonderful day. An excellent day, a great day, and a good night. Uh, or a good day. A good day. You fuck, says. <laughs> Alright, later, Waffly. She's been silenced. Let's do this mission. We're super close to having this done. That's gonna be three out of four legacies. And if it's not midnight, then I'll start the war. I'll still start the warlord. We need to get this mission, then do, uh. Infestations. Honestly, the, seriously, she just has to get leader, and it'll start the mission up. We just have to survive it. It's been three attempts, and I have yet to survive it. <laughs> you still make out of the window. Oh, yes. A classic. A classic. Oof. Oof. It's been a minute. Oof. To another dimension here. Oh my god, this... Map requires you to drive on the roads too much. I want to off-road, but I know if I do... That should totally be a horde. There's like three zombies next to them. They're calling that the horde, but not the group of 50 sitting outside that little corner shop. People! The sleep streams, I'm gonna be real with you, I think are the dumbest fucking thing ever. Especially when the streamers complain about not being able to sleep, because that's so fake. Well, no shit, you're doing a sleep stream. The entire idea is you make a bunch of money because people do really fucking annoying stuff. It's like, oh my god, I can't sleep. You fake ass. That's why you're doing what you're doing. Bony. Bony shit is what that is. Anyone have leg like, What the? What the actual fuck are you talking about, Mango? Help us out. Please prove you're not a troll. By sleeping? They make thousands of dollars. Ligma balls. What? Ah, okay. So it is a troll. Jenny? Wasn't Jenny a member of our group? Wow, the bot truly does hate you, Will, so you timed it out perfectly. His dick. <laughs> Watch me wag out. What's that from? Watch me wag out. This has been a true Twitch stream today. The hyper focus of yesterday is. <laughs> Sleep stream, seriously. Yeah, they're a thing, Dan. Ice Poseidon made like $10,000 doing one. There's a guy. He's a black dude. He's getting... Po I've watched some of his stuff. Some of it's pretty funny. Some of it's pretty cringe. But he's gotten really popular lately. And I think it's Mandrake. Mandrake won. He just did a sleep stream. But they all do the same shit where they're like, Oh my god, I can't sleep. Dude, stop it. Is there anybody well, here? This is perfect. When knowing that the more they complain about it, the more they act like they can't sleep, the more they're gonna get the Scottish theme like that sinks put into the chat. Hyperfocus is overrated. You lost like four people last night. Like four followers? I can't even sleep if one of my cats looks at me funny. Oh, shit. Where there's one, there's usually three or four.
That ammo press is actually not a bad find. Okay, we're not yet zombie free. Oops. They are That's kind of sus. What does that mean? It's like you're teaching me a new language here, Raphael. Hmm. All right, let's pop this. Okay. No, she have to take it in. The game can infer that you probably read it while it was in that. It's in code. It's in code. Uh, yes. Maybe Bloody note written short at many acronyms and strings of numbers. Must be a code then. So, okay, so that's the end of that. Or do I need to keep a hold of that? No, I'd say no. I wish it would show you where that rucksack of ammo would be. I feel like it used to. Maybe that's a nightmare I don't thing. Think there's anything left to find. Oh, a medicine textbook. All right, where do we think we're gonna find an ammo rucksack? I guess I'll just keep looting houses. We need to level up our wits anyway. I'm sure the situation will get out of control shortly. We're making plenty of noise and the game can tell we're getting away with loots. There's no room for that. Soda can bombs? When did we have a mission over here? Two out of four? Probably not gonna be an ammo rucksack then. Actually, what bladed weapon did she have? Tactahawk? Eh. And then here. I'm coming. We're always close. Just send the cavalry ASAP, got it? We've got time to make the radio call. Though there's probably like 30, 40 zombies inside that house with them right now. I hate not clearing the house totally out, but I'm just gonna head out because. Uh, if I can't find it easy, I don't really feel like wasting the time digging. Not right now. Very unlikely to be an ammo rucksack in there. I feel like shit. Are you infected? Whoa, thanks. Tony! Stay safe. Wait, no reward? I see a screamer. That's fucking it. Oh god, cooking oil, the last thing we need. Gasoline. We could just go back. Actually, I'm gonna go back up at that house. There's some strong painkillers in that one body. That'll instantly make up for what we just lost. Alexander out here doing work. As soon as she gets to that hero, she's she's in. She's our gal. 